what's up so in tea talk we're definitely going to be getting to Nicki minaj and megan the stallion it's a big brawl going on and i cannot have tea talk without talking about it this week like are you kidding me i cannot not talk about it so we're definitely going to be getting all into that spider web today okay so let's get into tea talk time hey guys so I am about to react to Nicki Minaj's diss track to Megan Thee Stallion called Bigfoot. And I'm not going to go with the original one that came out the first time. I'm going to go with what she uploaded today. I guess um, some producer put a new beat behind the song. And kudos to them because I really like it. It's actually 10 times better than um, when it was released. And I, granted, I understand, like, why people may have not gravitated to it at first because, I mean, it was very quickly made. So now that it's on this beat, I love it. And I'm going to share it with you guys and we're going to react to it. So let's start it right now. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Flow is such a bore. Drinking a bottle of Henny through a straw. Bitch, you really stop the dialogue. Oh, I hit call and buy your catalog. Oh, okay. First of all, catalog. Well, can Nikki actually purchase her catalog? Like, can she do that? That is messed up. <laughs> Sigh. How you fucking mother man when she... I'm sorry, but that sounded like Roman, didn't it? I mean, like, I'm reacting already. Like, every little thing about this song is making me react. But, okay, I don't know if that was Roman. Roman might have not been taking his meds. So, let's keep going. <laughs> Die. How you going, girl? King and can't cry. Chai. Bye. Make foot, but you still a small fry. Swim. It's like a dead like when you lie. This little begging hall, talking about Megan's law. For a free beat, you can hit Megan Raw. If you a ghost, fight a party in Megan Jaw. Shot stone. Hold on. <laughs> Did she just say if you're a ghost writer, you can hit Megan Raw? Like, and something about party in Megan's jaw? Like, that's crazy. That is wild. Like, what? You can party for a beat? What the f Yo, she's wildin'. But I still ain't let Megan see Bad bitch, she like six foot. I call her Bigfoot. The bitch fell off. I said, get up on your good foot. Uh, still ain't yeah. top red boobie. Mm -hmm. Trying to steal a sauce. I said, get up on my good foot. Normally, I'm a sweetie pie. P-R-T-T-Y. But I'm an e -T -T -Y. So she just said she's a sweetie pie. And she's really P-R-E-T-T-Y. But she's really P-E-T-T-Y. Miss Petty, you heard, and her real last name is Miss Petty because her husband's name is Kenneth Petty. Like, y'all can't tell me that's not bars right there. Like, come on, man. She's she's really getting active right now. <laughs> you lie about your life, though. Fucking your best friend, man. It's crazy. You the type, though. You was lying to the queen and you been lying to the king. She did. She did. Megan did confess. Or somebody confessed. I don't know if it was Tori or Kelsey, but they did all three confess that Kelsey was originally dealing with Tori, and then she tried to lie on Gail King's show, saying that she's never dealt with Tori. But then at the trial, it seemed like they was doing something. They was having sex. They was doing something. From the call that Tori made from jail, he basically said, like, he was sorry that he that he was he fucked Meg. That's her friend. Kelsey is supposed to be her friend. So, oh, she is spilling the tea, honey. Let's go. Gail, the thirty-year-old he's so stale. Kylie kicked you out and made you stumble to the car. Bob, I need a good alcohol bar. Roman, wait, that was the bar. Like a bodybuilder, I keep raising the bar. Fuck you, get shot with no scar. Still a toxic, somebody adopted. Mm, 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 mm. 
spinning in your dark like chocolate. I'm about to get up in your ass, bitch, clinch. I lost them ten toes behind her. Is it my fault I got good vagina? Why the fuck is you humping on a minor? Cause she was lying on your dead mama. I'm not your weight, mama. I lost them ten toes behind her. Is it my fault I got good vagina? Why the I'm not gonna lie, I don't condone the dead mama comments, but okay. I guess, um, you know, Megan went low and Nikki went straight to hell. So, hey. Fuck is you humping on a minor? Cause she was lying on your dead mama. I'm on your bed, mama lying on your dead mama. I'm on your bed, mama lying on your bed mama. I'm on your bed, mama lying on your bed mama. I'm on your bed, mama lying on your bed mama. Now listen up, Bigfoot. You know I got a lot of tea. I went easy on you. She got tea? Um, Last fragments, good ass bitch. You oh, know, whenever I meet a woman that would fuck her friend's man, and let your friend talk about your ex friend, baby, on the internet, I know that they have a very evil spirit. Um, Where my prayer warriors at? I don't think you want the next installment of this song. <laughs> I know it's the most attention you've ever gotten. one flow type of girl oh my god so that's basically it that's all i'm gonna give you guys you know what i'm saying like i love it like this is hip-hop i'm sorry like i love it exclude the dead mama comments because i'm not really about talking about the dead but that i, I thought it was amazing for her to come up with that in just one night and then for people to sit here and say oh well Nikki, 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 she she said that already in her Twitter rants. I mean, okay, that means that she created a song in like one day, a whole diss track. Like, obviously, so nobody can't call her a ghostwriter if that was or can't say that she has a ghostwriter, right? Nobody can say that. If she just said all of this on Twitter and turned it into a song, like and Listen, let we're gonna get to it. We're gonna talk more about it now that you guys heard um the new version of the diss track. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of it with a new beat. You know, she did put out one a cappella, so we could put this on a thousand different beats, honestly. Like I just love this this time of the year right now. Like it's amazing. Like this 2024 is starting off so good. But okay, let's go and let's chat about it. So, yeah, guys, we gonna, you know, get to the, you know, mm -hmm, the beef stew, because it's, it's brewing. It's obviously brewing. Like, Nikki and Megan are beefing. Okay, let's just say Nikki, because Megan is not really responding to anything right now. And, you know, to each his own, whatever she feels like doing, I, you know. You know, I'm a, I like both women at the end of the day. Like, I have no... Like, I'm not, I'm not that type of girl that's just going to say, oh, I only rock with Nicki Minaj. Like, no, I love both girls. I love female rappers. I'm a part of that culture. Like, I support both women. I hope both women diss each other. Like, <laughs> I just, I'm just here for the mess. Like, I'm here for the mess. I'm supporting the women. Like, I'm supporting the women in hip-hop. Let's go. Let's get this shit, like... Let's get it. Let's get it active. Like, let's get some motion into this. I'm, I'm loving this. Like, this is, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm tired of the pussy rap. I'm tired of the, 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 the fuck my baby daddies. I want to hear the, the bickering. I want, I want to hear the bars. Like, I, that's all I want to hear. That's all I want to hear. Do you understand me? Okay. So, let's get to the beef. Anyways, like, where's all of this even stemming from? Like, I got, I got something for you guys. So let me show you guys what I got, cause this is what I, this is the conclusion that I have came to. Let me just talk to you guys a little bit about how I feel about the Megan and Nicki Minaj um spat, spat or little confrontation they got going on right now. Let's really dive into how how this may have all gotten started in the first place because like where is this coming from where's all of this beef coming from like these two girls in the beginning were like you know cute they did a song together called hot girl summer and then like everything went to shit after that like it's only been a few years so i just you know decided to come up with a chart and really get into it like i came up with a chart 
So this chart, obviously, as you can see on the screen, we have a bunch of rap ladies, okay? Hip hop rap ladies that are relevant right now in the industry, in the music industry. And as you can see at the top, we have Nicki Minaj on one side and we have Little Kim on the other side. I believe everything started with these two women, okay? Nicki Minaj calls herself the Barbie. Little Kim been calling herself the Barbie. Nicki Minaj calls herself the Queen. Little Kim called herself Queen B. So there is some type of, you know, situation with that, I guess. One may admire the other. One may not like the fact that one is looking like they're copying. I'm not really sure. I don't want to get too much into that. But I feel like all of this beef that we're going through with Megan simultaneously starts from Nicki and Little Kim's beef. From the first, you know, from the beginning. When Nicki Minaj came into the industry, I believe she was, you know, just letting people know how she admired Little Kim. And Little Kim said that, you know, she said something that Nicki Minaj might have said something crazy about her. And then Nicki Minaj was saying, listen, I gave you your kudos. I'm not going to keep kissing your ass. And then it became a beef. It became a war. It became diss tracks coming out. And Nicki started dissing Little Kim. The industry didn't like that. The, the lady rappers didn't like the fact that she was dissing Kim because Kim paved the way for Nicki. So it's like, okay. But if you guys remember, Nicki came out with a song called Did It On Them. And everybody just knew Nicki was talking about Little Kim, how she shitted on her. You know what I'm saying? And I know you guys know that song. So after Nicki had came out with that song, I believe Little Kim came out with a diss track record. After that, I swear I forgot what the name of it is, but once I find it, I'm going to put it in the description bar. So make sure you guys go down there and look for the diss track that I was talking about by Little Kim towards Nicki Minaj. Okay, so what a wonderful thing happened in hip hop for women like that gave us like, you know, some type of excitement in the female hip hop world. If you ask me like to. Of course, nobody wants to see two women in the industry fighting, but we they the girls went bar for bar, you know what I'm saying, and made the best women win, you know what I'm saying? It's a competition. It became a competition. If you can see on my chart, when Remy Ma came home from doing her seven-year bid for shooting her friend or her ex-friend in the club for stealing $1,000 from her, Remy came home and automatically had some static with little Kim, um, Nicki Minaj because I guess while Remy was in jail and knowing that she was about to get out, she was hearing about Nicki Minaj, and Nicki Minaj was like, oh, I'm such a fan of Remy. But when, I guess, Remy came home, Nicki didn't really show her that same love. You know, because Nikki was already established. She was, like, getting all these awards. And she was just that girl. So, I guess Remy felt some type of way. And Remy, um, basically, Little Kim co-signed Remy once Remy came home from jail. And they made this song, Wake Me Up. Okay? And in the Wake Me Up song, it was a little bit of jabs thrown. And you can tell it was a little bit of jabs thrown, possibly at... Nicki Minaj and Nicki understood that you know okay so these girls are teaming up against me so what did Nicki do Nicki decided to keep rapping and just letting the girls know that she's she's that girl she's gonna stay that girl it don't matter who come home it don't matter who team up and gang up on me I'm still that girl right so now that we got little Kim co-signing Remy Ma there's another young lady who exactly from the Bronx, which Remy is from the Bronx, who Remy co-signed, which is Cardi B. Cardi B came out. She was just fresh off of Love and Hip Hop. She came out with her song, Bodak Yellow. You know, Remy decided to bring her out on stage and co-sign her like this is the next thing coming up this is the next girl smoking. You feel what I'm saying? And of course, Nikki is like... You know, Nikki is not a girl's girl. Like, I know she's pink everything and I'm queen this and Barbie this. But 
she's not really a girl's girl. She's like one of the guys. Let's be real, okay? She she gets down with the guys on tracks like one of the guys. So she's not really she will support you if she likes you. She will hop on a track with you for streaming purposes, business purposes. But you can tell Nikki's not a girl's girl. She's just a, a hardcore rapper. Period. So Nick um Remy Ma Obviously, co-signed Cardi B. This I want to say to spite Nicki Minaj because Nicki kind of wanted the spotlight. That's what people would say. It seemed like Nicki wanted all of the spotlight to herself to be like number one. But Remy's like, girl, girls have come before you. I was popping while you was doing nothing, and now I'm co-signing Cardi B. Okay, so Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? She's 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 skyrocketing with her Bodak Yellow song. She's coming out with an album, and the album is fire. Everybody loves it. Nicki is. It seems like Nicki's hating on Cardi B. I'm not gonna say she was, but it's a possibility. Girls will be girls. You know what I'm saying? We a little catty and jealous sometimes, but okay. Bust this. You know what I'm saying? City girls come out. City girls, they out, they fire, they're a new rap group. You know, they they starting a new wave of rap. And I believe when the city girls came out, city girls were like friends with some other girls in the strip club scene. And I believe the strip club girls, one of them was caught um, messing around with Cardi B's boyfriend at the time, Offset. And... Those were the city girls' friends, the two twin girls. So, and one of them that was with Offset in the club or whatever got caught cheating on Cardi, whatever. So now we got city girls, Cardi B, beefing. So, what, look at what Nikki finds the opportunity to, to go and, you know, support the city girls. Now, Cardi B was cool with the city girls, but you know how, because they, they came out with the song, um, come out with a song with the city girls called Twerk, and it blew up. It was like the summer banger or whatever. But I guess in the midst of that, the offset situation with the girl that was close with the city girls from the strip club scene, um, I guess that grew a wedge between them. But here comes Queen Nikki. She co-signs the City Girls. <laughs> like, okay, like, why not, right? So she co-signs the City Girls. The City Girls are rocking. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say City Girls. I'm going to say JT. <laughs> JT is, like, rocking with Nicki Minaj. So we have Nicki Minaj, and um, JT is rocking with the City Girls. I'm sorry. Nicki Minaj is rocking with the City Girls, but Cardi B has a little problem with the City Girls. So now Cardi B... Remy Ma, Little Kim, don't like little um, Nicki Minaj. And Cardi B gets into that spat with Nicki Minaj at some type of gala or award show. I'm not exactly sure which one. And then, you know, Cardi B walks out with a knot on her head. Okay, cool. So now Cardi B really doesn't like Nicki. And that's it. So now we have... Cardi B comes out with a song during the pandemic with Megan the Stallion. It has to continue to work with other artists. And at the time, Cardi B was one of the top artists, female artists. So what happens? Cardi B and Megan the Stallion collaborate and they make one of the hottest jams like in female rap at the time of the pandemic, which is called WAP. Okay, they got Sukiana in the video. They got um, Kylie Jenner, I believe. Um, just all of these girls, Lotto, and all of these bad girls like that are in the video. And people go crazy over this song. And it's like charting, like number one. Like, it's a great song. And I, some people speculate that Nicki might have been a little jealous about this. Cool. Because, you know, if I don't mess with Cardi and I co-signed you, um, Megan, maybe you shouldn't be um, messing with Cardi. But then it's like, come on, Megan is not going to just 
not work with Cardi because you co-signed her. I mean, yes, people want loyalty, but sometimes I got to get my coin, sis. So you going to have to hold that down, okay? So then we have Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B working together. Now there's a little rift between Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, my God right all of this mess then megan the stallion receives her first grammy cardi b receives her first grammy both of these girls receive their first grammy and like the world is going crazy the world is like what the hell how does cardi b and well you know what the world i'm gonna say the barbs <laughs> the barbs are like how the hell does cardi b and megan the stallion receive grammys before the queen Nicki minaj like there is no way the grammys is freaking um biased and everybody's going crazy right so it's a huge thing that people are talking about on black twitter is but or black x if you want to be call it that and everybody's going in uproar. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody's in an uproar about these two ladies getting a Grammy before Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj has been holding it down for tens of years and doesn't have a Grammy. So now there's more tension between all of these ladies. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now don't forget, Remy did diss Nicki Minaj. And the diss was fire. It was crazy back then, like... Oh, my God. So, all of these ladies over here, Little Kim, Remy Ma, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, are all at odds with Nicki Minaj and the City Girls. I don't say all of the girls, but uh, Cardi B and City Girls are definitely at odds. So, then we had, after Megan Thee Stallion, we had Lotto. Miss Mulatto at the time, but now she's Lotto. Lotto was up and coming, she's fresh, she's sexy, she's young, she's new, she's got bars, she's just the whole package, you know what I'm saying, we, you know, we don't gotta do too much with Lotto, so Lotto comes into the scene, and she's just expressing to everybody, oh, I love Nicki Minaj, if I ever did a feature with a female artist, it would, I would want it to be Nicki, and just giving Nicki all of her kudos, and, like, that shit is hitting deaf ears on Nicki's ears. Like, she don't care about that. Like, I guess Nicki is, like, I'm not about to just give girls... I'm not about to just co-sign girls. And then when I ask them to do something, they turn their... They stab me in the back. Like, Megan. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you work with Cardi knowing damn well I don't fuck with Cardi? You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess that's what her mind... That could have been the train of thought. That's what... The internet wants me to believe. So, in my head, that's what I believe. Not saying that it's true. But, okay, I'm not just going to go co-sign the next female that comes up and then she backstabs me. So, I guess there was a time to get a loyalty test from Lotto. The loyalty test was when Nicki Minaj called Lotto and told her, Listen, the Grammys is coming up. My song, Freaky Girl, just came out your song big energy you might as well just like don't even worry about it stay out of there boycott tell them you're not gonna be a part of it tell the grammys not gonna be a part of it if they keep you in the same category as me and miss mulatto was like um excuse me <laughs> girl i've been waiting for this moment my whole entire life since c-r-u-s-h on you you know that song i gotta see are you sh on you she's been waiting that for a grammy since the rap game so no she wasn't gonna do that she just told the queen respectfully not happening so the queen was like it's cool she tested her loyalty and obviously she realized coincidentally like maybe like three weeks later after that conversation leaked onto the internet so did lotto's catalog whatever song she had in the stash that she hadn't put it out so what it was crazy so lotto didn't want to feel dis defeated so what did she do she made a song called put it on the floor and put it on the floor was something that the girlies was, you know, they was liking. They was feeling it. But what made them feel, put it on the floor even more is when Cardi was on the remix. And Cardi, Cardi 
Cardi ate that beat up crazy, right? Looking good, sounding good, just great visuals, amazing, amazing song. So Cardi and Mil- Miss, oh, I'm sorry, Lotto are now besties. Cardi B and Lotto are two peas in a pod now. And um, it just seems like all the girls who dislike Nicki get on a beat or get on a song with Cardi. It seems like that. Not saying that it is that, right? So what does... There's a girl that comes to the scene named Ice Spice. And she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's a new sound. She's from the Bronx. She's from New York. You know, everybody's loving Ice Spice. The kids are, like, fainting for Ice Spice. And, like, everybody's loving the song Munch, right? Here comes the internet just gagging, like, oh, Ice Spice looks like a natural um, lotto. Like, what? (laughs) Like, okay, so Ice Spice is like, she's this curly hair girl. She can straighten her hair and, like, it goes down her back. And it's cute. It's orange. She's really light-skinned, like a yellow type of light skin, like really beautiful skin. She has this smoking body, like, and definitely looks very natural. Her body it looks very natural, and people are comparing her to Lotto, but they are saying that Ice Spice is the natural Lotto. Like Lotto is, you know, done up. She got a BBL, you know what I'm saying? She got a boobs done, all of this stuff. Like, okay, so now they're comparing her to Lotto. So what happens after, you know, the internet starts this beef between Lotto and Ice Spice? Well, soon after, here comes Nicki Minaj co-signing Ice Spice. It's like, oh my God. So Cardi B is going through problems or whatever. And then I guess her, she and her boyfriend, I mean, sorry, her husband get separated. And here comes Akbar on the internet talking mad crap about her. Because, you know, Akbar loves her son Nicki Minaj. She, is, has, she professed her undying love for Nicki Minaj. And she's, like, on the internet laughing and kikiing about Cardi B and her failed marriage. It was crazy. So that's why I created this chart. Because this is where all of this beef stems from. Little Kim. And Nicki Minaj. I mean, it starts from the two queens. I'm sorry. Um, I had to break it down. I had to break it down because this is what I see. And now people are saying that Ice Spice new song that's called um, Think You the Shit, Bitch, You Not Even the Fart. That song is really about Lotto or, like, there was some disses, about, you know, towards Lotto. And I'm like, yo, the internet really be trolling, like. Not to say it's not true, but I just, I'm just here for it at the end of the day because, like, I just want to hear you girls rap. Like, I'm, I, I'm okay with the party jams, but where are the bars? Where are the disses? Where are all of that? I want to hear it. I'm here for it. 100%. Now, this, the dead mama things, I can't get, get jiggy with that. I can't. I can't get jiggy with that. I'm sorry. I don't think that that's appropriate. I would never talk about nobody's mom. But I understand, again, that Nikki might have felt like you were talking about my family. So I'm going to talk about yours. And it's all best is all. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? Nick, uh, Megan went low and Nikki went straight to hell. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Like, sometimes you can't say, oh, no, you can't beat me up. Like that. Like, I punched you. You can't body slam me. No, you can't do that in a fight. So, I don't know. I just hope that Megan is not hurt too much about this. That she just chalks it up to this is the game and this is how it goes. I hope she doesn't get depressed about the situation or, like, it affects her in a bad way. I hope that she just continues to prosper, definitely. And Nikki, too, because she is the queen. And, um... You know what I'm saying? But, um, that's really my take on it. Like, 
it's just getting messy and I love it. <laughs> so kudos to the women and I'm supporting everybody. I'm supporting everybody's music. I'm not picking nobody's sides. I love everybody. So that's pretty much it for the Nikki and Megan beef. And I'm moving on to my next segment.